I wish everybody had more chance to be really exposed to animals. There are people that never even see a sheep, like me, when I moved here at 51, you know. It's morning feeding time at Bellwether Farms, a family-owned and operated artisan creamery located in Sonoma County, California. Liam Callahan and his wife Diana have taken over management of the farm's day-to-day -day operations from Liam's mother, Cindy Callahan. Before founding the farm, Cindy had a career as a nurse and lawyer in the city. Bellwether Farms started in the mid-80s when my mom and dad moved to this property from San Francisco. They had no farming experience and they needed something to eat all the grass that was growing. We were, we'd never seen grass like that before. So my mom went and bought sheep at the auction yard and turned them out, figuring they'll take care of it and we'll get some lamb for the family and friends. It wasn't until 89 that a friend of the family recommended we investigate milking the sheep. Waleed's parents still lived in Syria, and he said, you know, sheep make just wonderful yogurt and, and cheese, and we had never really even thought about milking sheep. At the time, only two other sheep dairies existed in the United States, both of which were on the East Coast. We went ahead and started making cheese, although we didn't know how to make cheese at that point. It was pretty awful. <laughs> so Cindy and her husband packed up a video camcorder and an Italian-English dictionary and headed to Europe to learn cheese making from Italian masters. After graduating from UC Berkeley, their son Liam dedicated himself to the art and science of cheese making. The first shepherds back thousands of years ago wanted to conserve their milk that was available for a very narrow period of the year for a longer period of the year. And they discovered that by sort of a controlled spoilage of that milk, they could keep it for longer. Well, those same techniques are what modern cheesemakers are still using. Timing and temperature are crucial elements that vary for each cheese recipe. After the milk is heated to the cheese recipe's ideal start point temperature, bacteria is added to begin the fermentation process. Later, an enzyme called rennet is mixed in to transform the milky liquid into a gelatin-like solid. When the solid forms the right consistency, it is cut into curds and whey. Blades and cutting techniques are tailored for each cheese recipe. For me, the family business, the ideal of the family business is what really attracted me to doing this. It's great, we can all work really well together and hopefully our boys might see that charm as well. Liam and I have been married for 22 years now, so we can finish each other's sentences. He loves making cheese, it's his passion, you can't control him, so we have to actually keep him a little bit more contained. We don't have enough space for all the things that he wants to make, so. <laughs> like, okay, we need a couple more thousand feet for that. <laughs> Well, 
While stirring continues, the solid curds firm and shrink as more of the liquid whey drains out of them. When the curds reach the preferred size and firmness, they are put into forms where liquid is further drained. The goal is to reduce excess moisture from the cheese before it goes into the wheel for aging. If moisture is trapped in the cheese, it produces off flavors and also affects the texture. The cheese is then taken into a room for salting, where it rests for a couple of days. Liam explains that salting helps to create flavor and make the cheese shelf stable, as it controls bacteria. After salting, the cheese is brought into the aging room. As the cheese ripens, it continues to develop flavor. Today, Bellwether produces a variety of award-winning fresh and aged cheeses, as well as yogurts from sheep and cow milk. When I think back to the beginning, and my mom already in her early 50s, with plenty of life left, obviously, but to pick up and decide she wants to be a shepherd, and us learning how to do things as basic as round them up, where we were desperate enough to try and use a giant fishing net to catch them. I mean, it, it's almost ludicrous, really, to think back on that. <laughs>